spectacular, controversial, extraordinary, and one and only Jose Marie Borja Visceral, or also known as Vice Ganda, is a famous Filipino comedian, talk show host, television presenter, actor, and an incredible singer. One of the most talented and famous names in the Philippines. Also known as a regular host judge, which has starred in various highest ranking movies. He's also the first openly gay endorser for Globe Telecom. Stay with us and find out so much more about this outrageous celebrity star. Short Bio The one and only Jose Marie Borja Visceral was born on March 31, 1976, also known by his professional name Vice Ganda, which means beautiful vice. He is a famous Filipino comedian, talk show host, television presenter, talented actor, and one of the most spectacular singers ever. On top of that, he is known to be host judge on the well-known ABS-CBN's midtime show, It's Showtime, and had a role in several movies, which even eight of them are considered to be first in the rank of Philippine movie industry. Visceral is more commonly known for his stand-up style, in which he uses observational comedy, circumstantial irony, and huge sarcasm relating to Filipino culture and human sexuality. Visceral is also known as the first gay who openly talks about it and a huge endorser for Globe Telecom. This 44-year-old celebrity had gained a lot of awards for his enormous endeavor in show business as well as the movie and music industry. He created such songs that immediately became one of the most popular ones in the Filipino and further. His style is one of a kind. Because of that, he became successful by reaming himself no matter what. With his outrageous behaviors and style, he represents one of the most famous names in the Filipino industry and further. Childhood and Family Vice Gondo was born in the Philippines, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world. It is interesting to know that he has five brothers and sisters, among whom he is the youngest one. They called him Tutoy during his childhood, but now people know him as Vice. His mother was initially from San Juan, La Union, and his father was the administrative head of a district. When he was a kid, he loved playing with the boys while eyeing at the girls. Vice was very aware of his sexual orientation, and in his, he was sure that he is different from the other guys. He gave everything in succeeding to hide his true identity, and he did a great job, we must admit. Having a very hard and traumatic childhood, he thought that revealing his true identity among his family would worsen the already bad situation at their house. His brother even left the home to live in the U.S. in order to avoid his parents' struggles and drama. On top of that, Vice witnesses his father murder in 1991 when he was only 15 years old, which must have been very hard for him to forget. After that, his mother decided to work overseas to maintain the family, so she left the children and worked as a caregiver. Beside all those hardships, he succeeded in finishing faculty at Far Eastern University in the city of Manila, taking up a program in political science. Houses and Mansions Visceral possesses a huge mansion that has its own elevator and a huge living area, dining room, kitchen, dirty kitchen, guest room, powder room, as well as his spa area, entertainment area, and bar. It is not a surprise that he possesses such a luxurious house due to his huge net worth of an astonishing $2.5 million. He also possesses an eight-car garage and a huge pool, too. His house was located in Quezon City and took him eight months to finish it, but it absolutely paid off since it is one of the most outstanding houses ever. It's interesting to note that this 380-square-meter mansion was created by the one and only Avel Francisco. He initially wanted this home to have a modern Zim vibe, and they absolutely achieved that. Just look at it, it's perfect. This enormous home possesses high-class furniture which was custom-made and created to fit completely with the theme of the entire mansion. One of the most interesting features of Vice's palette is the glass stairs. They are absolutely breathtaking. That's right, almost everything in this house was made out of glass. Very lavish and sophisticated, we must admit. What do you think about this wonderful mansion? Success Story and Awards Visceral at first started his career as a singer, then he became a comedian for Punchline in the library, where he was given the stage name Vice Gonda. He spent a couple of years working on his comedy acting skills in various comedy clubs, where he gained a lot of experience. He became more recognizable after he showed up on television, and after that, nothing was the same for this boy. Visceral appears in a couple of television series and sitcoms, such as Diosa. After that, he gained a supporting role in the television series Meijing Sino Kaman, Ong Pakbabalik. He became part of Showtime in 2009, which is a talent show where he gained his current role as a regular presenter and judge. It is interesting to note that his dramatic life, which includes the bullying he survived as a child and the closeted homosexuality, has also been included in the drama anthology Malala Moikaya. 
He is now hosting his own Sunday talk show under the name Gundang Gabi, Vice. In 2016, he became one of the judges in Pilipinas' Got Talent. He is also an excellent actor and has starred in so many movies and TV shows. A couple of them are In My Life, The Amazing Prebet Benjamin, Fantastica, The Mall, The Marrier, and so much more. He is also a famous singer and he released his first studio album, La Castama, under Vicor Music in 2011. In 2014, he released his third album called Trending, which included the hits Boom Panes and Push Moyanta. Aside from that, he has also launched his own book named President Vice, Ang Bagong Pangulo, Ng Filipinas. And that is not all he launched, his beauty products making them affordable for everyone, with the aim to make the girls feel beautiful in their own skin. Visceral gained a lot of prestigious awards, such as the PMPC Star Award for TV 2012, the PMPC Star Awards for TV 2013, the 30th PMPC Star Awards for Movies, the Yahoo OMG Awards 2014, and second Golden Laurel, LPU Batangas Media Awards, and so much more. He won all of them. Cars and Bikes With a huge net worth, there comes a huge and lavish style of cars. Vice Gonda possesses one of the most lavish car collections ever. Let's take a look. Vice possesses Toyota LXV, $51,000, and this car can reach the top speed of 160 km per hour. He also is the owner of the Hummer H2 that costs $53,000, and this enormous car can reach a top speed of 180 km per hour, which is quite amazing. The GMC Yukon Denali is the third car Vice possesses and cost him an amazing $49,000. This car can reach a top speed of 172 km per hour. He also possesses one of the most outrageous pink hummers ever that costs $30,000. This car can reach a top speed of 180 km per hour and has quite a unique design. We must admit that he is a true car collector, and he has such an amazing style when it comes to choosing a fabulous car. Interests and Hobbies Vice Gonda is gay and he speaks openly about it, but that was not the case when he was a kid. During his puberty, he used to hide that he is an actual homosexual for which he survived huge inomony and bullying from his peers. It is not known whether he is in a gay relationship with someone or if he is single. He currently resides in Quezon City in the Philippines. He survived biting criticism for satirizing gang rape during a comedy show program in 2013, on which he apologized. It is interesting to note that Vice Gonda's biggest inspiration is his teacher, who taught him that he must always follow his dreams no matter how big or wild they are. That's such a piece of advice. Guys, that'd be it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Which celebrity's lifestyle would you like to see a video for in the future? Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling info like this and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of them. And of course, thank you so much for being with us. We are here for you. See you in our next video.